Hello BTS. Acne really sucks. Thumbs up for that. I've been battling it since I was a teen and it started to get worse 6 months ago with a few ingredients to create a hydrating mask to treat my zits and it exfoliates. A bonus that I've been adding to my skincare routine. My face was constantly breaking out and as you can tell, I wasn't happy in those pictures until lately. Yep. No makeup in this video so you get to see how my pores look and the fading acne marks. Of course, I will be posting my skincare routine in another video so stay tuned for that. Subscribe! While I was filming this, I needed to get my fix on with another Audible book. You guys know how I love it from Audible. I'm going to listen to The Faults in Our Stars before I watch that movie with my hubby thanks to Audible. My subscribers can get a free Audible book and a month trial membership at audible.com slash beauty splurge. I post the link down for you if you're interested. Now it's time! Before we're going to apply this on, you're going to need a bowl, measuring spoons, and a clean foundation brush. I just got this little 4-in-1 kit on Amazon. I will have those linked down below and also on my blog. You're going to need 1 teaspoon of calamine lotion. You can find this at the drugstore. Now this stuff dries up zits so you can use it as a spot treatment, fade acne marks, soften dry skin too. My skin was really dry from all the acne treatments so I use honey to speed up the healing process and to retain back moisture. This has antibacterial benefits so make sure to use raw honey. This is awesome on sensitive skin and it creates a supple and glowing complexion. Now you're going to need something to thicken up your mask. So I use matcha green tea powder because it reduces redness inflammation and it contains antioxidants to fight aging, also reverse UV damage. I added in 1 tablespoon of the green tea powder. The last thing I use is apple cider vinegar. The raw and unfiltered kind that needs to be shaken well before use. This is amazing for my acne as a rinse for my body and face in the shower. Many use it as a toner to balance out the pH of their skin. I can't stand the stinky odor so I can't use it as a toner. But this does unclog pores so it treats acne effectively. I use this mask about 2-3 to three times a week wherever I have a breakout. Either my face or my back. I tend to get back acne during the summer. I don't know, maybe because of sweat. Yeah, so I like to use this in the shower just for an easy cleanup. With a foundation brush, you're going to stroke this upwards. You can also use your fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean. I like to apply this going upwards to avoid pooling and stretching on my skin that contributes to wrinkles and sagginess. That is why I started to apply all of my skincare in an upward and a circular motion from the neck going upward my forehead. Now the waiting begins and I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about 15 to 20 minutes each time I use this. Might as well download my book to listen to and edit a video as this dries. I put my hair up in a bun so that I can start rinsing this off. Since my mask contains honey in it, it will be hard to rinse off unless I use a gentle cleanser. The green tea powder acts as a micro exfoliator to remove any dry skin. I like to focus slightly scrubbing in circular motions if I can around my T-zone area since this is where I tend to get zits. Next step, I rinse off the mask using warm water and I like to pat dry with a clean towel. Patting my skin will retain the moisture from the mask ingredients and leave my complexion glowing and silky soft. It's affordable to make. You can use these ingredients in so many ways. Most of them you can eat. Now check these videos out and I'll see you guys soon. Follow me.